Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to install Exchange 2016 for the hybrid setup. If you have Exchange 2010 in your, in your environment and you plan to do a hybrid configuration, I recommend that you install a brand new Exchange 2016 and add it to your Exchange 2010 farm. So you can use the 2016 for um, hybrid endpoint. And if you are using, if you have environment that are running 20, uh, Exchange 2007, in that case, I recommend that you install Exchange 2013 to your environment. Because 2007, um, you can only add 20, uh, 2013. So, Here's all the step that I'm going to install Exchange 2016. You can download Exchange 2016 CU10 from this location. So I have the file downloaded and it currently is being saved to my computer hard drive. You need to install all the features if you are running if you are running um, Windows operating system 2016. Here's the command line to install that. You want to go to PowerShell. I'm going to run as administrator. I'm going to paste the command line and hit enter. All right. I have the features already installed. That's why it went by so quick. If you don't have any of the features installed, um, it's probably take about 10 to 15 minutes. And the next step I'm going to do is run the setup um, preparation for schema extension. So you need to open up the command prompt and browse to where the um, the installation files are. So it should be a setup.exe here. I'm going to paste the command line. Oops, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste that here and hit enter. All right, this step's going to take a while. Um, I would say maybe five minutes. It looks like I have some issues with my DNS server. I can fix this later.
All right, so the step number two is complete. Now I'm going to run step number three. Again, I'm having issues with the uh, DNS server. We'll check that later. It's not a showstopper. You can still proceed with the exchange setup. All right, let's go to step four. All right, step five, I need to install the Unified Communication Manage API 4.0. I already downloaded it and installed it, so I can skip that now. The next step is to install the um, Exchange setup. Let's go to the content. Exchange 2016 CU10 setup.exe. I'm going to run this as, as administrator. I'm not going to check for updates. Click next.
All right, next. Accepts license. Don't use recommended settings. You need to install the mailbox role and automatic install Windows Server roles. Next. That's fine. Put it on the C drive. I'm going to disable malware scanning. Next. So everything looks good, it's just the um, warning on the DNS server. I'm just going to click install. So the installation process will, will take a while. I'm just going to pause the video and then we'll come back. Hopefully there's no errors. All right, look like we are at step 12 of 13. We're getting close. Let me pause the video and welcome back. All right, it looks like the installation has completed. All right, um, so that's it. Thank you for watching and have a good day.